This is Lord Og. Yes, it is. And welcome to some more Will You Press the Button. Uh, we're going to get straight on with it and uh, start instantly. We have this one that says, uh, well, for those that don't know, I'll say it quickly. You've got, an, you've got like a, would you, uh, would you like to do this? But there is a kind of a penalty in some way if you wish to do that. And so are you willing to press the button and accept the good, the, the thing on the left and accept the but? Or you will not and then you don't get either so let's carry on so I can start life get a better start a new life get a better job accomplish my goals and move to a better place but I have to solve the case of my own disappearance watch the breakup of your watch the breaking of your family's heart and not being able to tell them it's you it's easy that one really because as far as I can tell it looks like a well how much do you care about your family you know, if you think your family sucks, then you're going to be willing to just walk away. <clears throat> and so you're going to be willing to do all that. But if you've got a decent family or family that you, you know, you care a lot about, then no, you're not. As it turns out, I'm really close to my family, so I would not. I mean, the things like start a new life. Why? I'm happy because I love my family, so I don't need to start a new life. Get a better job. Well, you know, I suppose a lot of people would like a better job, but it doesn't say get your dream job. It just says get a better job. That could mean more pay, as in better more pay, but it still might suck. Accomplish your goals. I think people tend to accomplish the goals that are vital to them. Because if you think of a goal that you're wanting to accomplish, and you don't accomplish it, and you're willing to give up on it, then it was never a goal that it was never a goal anyway. It was kind of a win. You know, but goals, true goals, are something that you will manage to do. So I'd like to think I've done most of the things that have, have been important enough for me to call a true goal. So, um, and everything else has just been a win, as I said. So, no, I will not. So let's do that. Uh, what we got? No, no, so six, so most of them, most of them, quite close, but most of them, uh, yeah, agreed with me. So let's say... Break this down. Good, oh, good. Okay, next. Pokemon and Digimon become real. Your current pets become Pokemon or Digimon. But all animals that are real now will not exist anymore. That's easy, because I think Pokemon and Digimon suck. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're a big Pokemon or Digimon fan, but they suck. I would not want. I would, no matter who it is, I'm sorry. I do not want. Pokemon or Digimon in my world, I'm happy with the animals we've got, that's fine. And what can you imagine that as well, you know, things like meats have gone, chicken, beef, lamb, pork, and you've got to eat some of the crap that these Pokemon are made of. No, I'm absolutely fine without it. So, uh, 53 people pressed the button, so they actually liked it. Well, yeah, well, it's, well, it's close either way. Have a real portal gun. Oh, from the game Portal, where you press it and it opens a hole. You have to carry it on your body for the rest of your life. <coughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it might be a bit awkward in places like in the in the shower or something. It needs to be waterproof, I suppose. Uh, it could be awkward if you're in bed with your other half, your partner. You know, especially if you shoot her with it, that'd be that'd be bad. But uh, but yeah, I think I could think of some good uses for a portal gun. I could I could have some good fun with a portal gun. Yeah, go on then. I'll have that. Seventy-two percent press the button with me. I told you we like the portal guns. So let's have that one. Okay. Uh, happily be with the love of your life till death, but you can only eat the food he or she makes and the food tastes really bad and you can't the, them know about it. So I'm guessing you can't let them know about it. Uh, 
Well, I mean, though, anybody who's going to be willing, you know, it's a case of, you know, I, so you've got the person who you love, you know, the love of your life, your perfect partner, and you, you know, the only, only trade-off is you've got to eat some bad food. You know, some food that doesn't taste really nice, but you can have the love of your life for the rest of your life. Someone to support you and always be there. So you're going to eat crappy food, but it's like anything, you get used to it. You know what I mean? Eventually, you'll get used to taste. So, yeah, yeah, I don't think, I don't think food for me had come above somebody I love. I mean, it's close though. 52.48, but well, okay. Have unlimited money, you have no family. Uh, <laughs> it depends how materialistic you are. You know, this is, this is what this is. It's like, are you materialistic or are you family orientated? You know, is, is, is family worth more than anything? Or, you know, can, can they be bought or whatever? Can you be bought? And there is a saying, and that is that everyone, <laughs> you're going to think bad of me, but everyone has a price. And so do I. So, click. There we go. <laughs> So, oh, they are going to get me. I thought they would. To be honest with you, it's one of them things, isn't it? Where it's like, yeah, you know, when you're faced with it, who knows what you'd do? But you know, at the end of the day, unlimited money, you could probably do anything with it anyway. So I probably try and clone them. <laughs> That's creepy. Good. Right. You now have a green lantern ring. What's with all these kind of questions like this? Uh, you must go on patrol in space as a Green Lantern and you can never see your friends, family, all the Why is it always about giving up family? Come on, get these questions a little bit more unique. It's, so far, I've had three and each one is to do with losing family or can't tell, or, you know, family's gone or whatever. <sighs> I think it's three. Anyway, let's carry on. Although Portal Gun wasn't about family, but still, rest of... You must go on patrol with space green light. You can never see your friends, family, all over again. No, I will not. Again, it comes down to family. And now I might have been able. You might be able to buy me, but you can't buy me with a, lan with a green lantern ring. I'm sorry. You know, even if I even if I can make things happen, I still wouldn't do it. There you go. Seventy-one percent said no. So uh, I ain't going for that. Okay, next. Life is like High School Musical. You cannot sing. I suppose that's quite funny. If life were like a musical, I would go absolutely crazy. I really would. I'd go nuts. Because music... I mean, I don't mind a musical, but damn. They get on my nerves after a little while, so... No, nah, I will not. No, no way. Wait. <laughs> You'd have it. Oh, did not. 69 agreed with me. Oh, it's all right then. That's good, that's good, that's good. 69, I thought 69 had gone against me there. I was going to say. You can selectively grant unlimited wishes. You cannot grant your own wishes or any wish that directly benefits you. No. And I'll tell you why. Because if I can give somebody unlimited wishes to start with, they might be like... Oh, I, I wish for the end of world, you know, for the end of wars, and I want world peace, and yeah, you know, I want everybody to be, be there'd be food enough for everybody, and you know, all this kind of thing. But how long before they start using it against, you know, using it for bad? Somebody pisses them off. Oh, I wish that guy were dead. I wish, it, I wish, you know, that guy's head had explode. You know, it, it, it's not long before it starts to corrupt. You know, power corrupts. You give somebody limited wishes. They will use it bad eventually. Because to be honest, I would. To start with, I would use it for a lot of good. I know I would. But in all honesty, I would get corrupted. And I would be the evilest motherfucker on this planet. And I'd be wishing everybody I don't care. So there you go. So uh, no, I will not. No. 71 people press the button. So they'd give unlimited wishes. Your world's gonna be fucked up, my friends, because it's not gonna be long before they come up, before they start wishing you dead. Right. Next. 
You become an amazing secret agent with the power to do great good. No matter how hard you try, there will always be someone you cannot save. But that's the other side, isn't it? That's the toss. That's the, the toss of the coin. You know, you can't save everyone. It's impossible. You know, it's a case of if you're doing great good. If you save a thousand people, and you can't save one person, then it was it was worth the trade. You know, it's uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one, of the few, or the one, whatever it is. Anyway, start start. Trek or Wars, whichever one it is. Anyway, the point is, it's true. You know, the needs of the many do outweigh the needs of the few or the one. So if you can save a group of people and one can't be saved, then it's worth the trade-off. So you become an amazing secret agent, click. Yes, I will do that one. What we got? Yes, I've got so. So a majority went with me. Unlimited wardrobe for free. You will have to wear Uggs with all your outfits. I've got a friend that likes Uggs. Um, I don't know, I think it'll be a bit harder in summer when it's a bit warm, but <clears throat> you can have unlimited wardrobe, so you can have anything you want, any clothing you want, but you just have to wear Uggs all the time. <laughs> That's quite amusing, actually. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes. I'm going to actually say yes to that. <laughs> People don't like Uggs. Now it's not that I like Uggs. I don't. I don't like Uggs. But the point is that if I can have absolutely anything else, perhaps I can have some something that will go over the Uggs so they don't look as bad. Or perhaps I can pick Uggs that don't look as bad, you know, in a way. So, uh, oh well, <laughs> that look quite good. You will live forever, but so will all your exes, and they will permanently stalk you. So I live forever, but so, so do so does my exes, and they'll be permanently stalking me. Um, oh, what the hell! See, the thing is, if they're if they're your ex, then at one time they did love you. So <clears throat> who knows? If you've got forever, you might be able to turn them from an ex back into a girlfriend, and uh, you know. And if you've got more than one ex, perhaps over time, over forever you'll you'll uh, help them get agree to the idea of you having more than one girlfriend or more than one wife and then you can turn them all into into your uh, girlfriends or wives and everything's good again and then you've got forever with them doing what you wish so yeah all right then i'll go for that one <laughs> okay one more because we just we, we are about 12 13 minutes so uh let's do good now and finally, get 50k a month for life. You get wrapped once a week for life. Get wrapped? What? Get wrapped? I don't quite get that. Get wrapped? What? Wrapped is in like Christmas presents? Get wrapped? Or wrapped is in, you've spelt it there, somebody wraps. I have to sit and listen to a rap. Once a week for life. I, I, I don't really get it. But I'm going to press yes. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, it was split either way. Because everybody else was thinking, what the hell is that? Okay, let's do one more then. Because that went very good. You can be in any show you want. For however long, for however, for however long you want. Without dying or something bad happening to you. You have to have ginger hair the entire time you're in the show. Wait, that's just silly. And don't get me wrong, I know people make jokes about ginger hair, but you know, you're gonna live forever, you'll never die. All you've got to do is have ginger hair while you're in the show. And you can be in any show you want forever. It doesn't say you have to be, it says you can be. It. So your only punishment is you've got to have ginger hair. Give me the give me the button now. Yes, give do. I'll have it. <laughs> What's the one? Seventy six. Well, seventy six didn't mind. You see, they went with it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. Look at the home of your dreams or televisions when I'm looking sound the same. Thing. 
no. Anyway, I'll let you look at that one. You can uh, you can say in the comments if you what what you do with that one if you wish. I'll read it out. You get the home of your dreams, but old televisions went on look and sound like static to you. So there you go. What would you do with that one? Would you would you have that one? Would you click the button or is that a will not? And uh, I'll leave you with it. So thanks for watching, guys. I will be doing... I am still doing Mad Max. Don't worry about that. I've been asked. I am still doing Mad Max. It's just I've got to record some episodes. I haven't I haven't recently because I've been busy. So um, I've got to record some more of those. And there will be more Don't Stop soon. So, yes. All right. So see you soon. You take good care of yourselves. And goodbye for now.